Hey, what's going on guys? Jenna from ModBot, and I'd like to welcome you to part six of our Net8 build, the wiring. This is the final part after this, our machine is built. So let's go ahead and get into it. You're gonna need your power supply and the cable that plugs in from the wall to your power supply. Um, the three colors mine had was brown, blue, and yellow. Live is brown, blue is neutral, and yellow is ground. So that's how I wired up mine. If yours is different, you have to refer to your own manual. And then you're gonna to need to take one of the thick red and black wires and plug the red into a positive voltage terminal and the black into a neutral or negative voltage terminal. Then you're gonna get the M3 12 screws, just three of them, and you're going to screw them into the right side panel and into your power supply to basically secure your power supply into place on your machine. Um, I just kind of guided them in one by one and then tightened them afterwards. It was a little bit difficult to get them lined up, um, but that was just on me. Then you're gonna to need to take the last of your A8 standoffs and the M3 by 30 screws as well as the M3 nuts and we're going to use that to attach the control board to the other side panel of the uh, A8. Just like you see here, it goes screw to board to standoff to acrylic and then a nut on the other side just to lock it in place. I didn't clamp down too hard because I didn't want to damage the board but you just get it in there nice and snug and um, you know, it's not really like and it's going to be pulled on so it doesn't really need a whole lot of uh, strength I guess. Next, we're going to go ahead and do all of the wiring. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, in all honesty. Um, I start off with doing the motors. So we've got X, Y, 2Z, and the extruder motor. And it's kind of labeled on the board. But um, yeah, just take a look at my pictures here. And it's kind of, I guess, the best bet to reference to. But kind of just go ahead and plug in all the plugs. So plug in the one to the hotbed, plug in the one to the extruders. And then on the top here, we've got X, Y, Z, Z, and extruder. Just plug those in, those are the five motors. The Zs, it doesn't matter which one you plug in which slot. Then you've got fan one and fan two in the corner. Make sure fan two is on the farthest part of the corner because one of those is gonna be controlled with the G-code. Then we're gonna go ahead and plug in our end stops. As you can see here, it says X, Y, and Z, so just plug those in accordingly, followed by our thermocouplers. You've got BT for bed thermocoupler and ET for extruder thermocoupler. Then the LCD screen ribbon cable is what goes in next followed up with the cable for the bed and from the actual power supply to the board, as well as the hot end. So uh, make sure with the actual power supply cables, um, follow the, the plus and minus sign on your board because my wiring was wrong in my picture and you could totally damage that if you put the power supply in backwards. So make sure you follow that part at least correctly. Then you want to make sure that the voltage is correctly set um, either 110 or 220. 110 for me since I'm in the States, 220 if you're, I believe, pretty much everywhere else. And once that is done, you should be able to plug in your power cable and, and it should be um, lighting up. Your Net 8 should be live. And that concludes our build, guys. Um, in the next video, I'm probably going to be showing you guys how to level the... Uh, x-axis as well as level your bed for those of you that are having issues with that and then we will begin with our mods and upgrades um, yeah anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to smack the like button and subscribe for more great videos this has been Daniel from ModBot and I am out peace guys